This is the TA Tech tip on how to seal the crushing ampules for the Precision Solution Calorimeter, otherwise called the SolCal. So what we have here is the crushing ampule for the Solution Calorimeter. What you'd have to do is first tear it and weigh it, and sometimes you need to use an anti-static gun or an anti-static device for the little rubber, uh, silicone rubber stopper and also the glass crushing vessel so that you get a very uh, stable weight. And it's recommended to use a balance that has at least four to five decimal places in measurement so that you get the precision accuracy in your weight uh, so that you make an accurate uh, calorimetry measurement. So the first thing you would do is weigh out your sample and then place the little rubber stopper inside the ampule. And then you would reweigh your sample. So once you have your sample loaded, you place the stopper in place and now weigh it like that to get the weight of your sample. We have one more sealing step is where you have to melt beeswax so that you completely seal uh, around the edges around the rubber seal because sometimes when you cut the rubber seal, it doesn't complete uh, the seal around the neck of the ampule. So what you need to do is melt some beeswax and beeswax melts about 65 Celsius. So you can use either a propane or butane torch or a hot plate to melt the beeswax. And what you see is get the beeswax to come right to the end of a little stopper and the end of your spatula and kind of run it around the edges of the ampule until you have a complete seal over the top of the ampule. And now your sample is ready to be placed inside the solution calorimeter and you're ready for your experiment.